This is January's episode of How's the Market with One and Company, and I'm Heidi. And I'm Byron. And I'm going to be telling you about single family homes, and Byron's going to be telling you about condominium sales. In the entire state of Connecticut for January 2020, we had just over 11,000 active listings, which is down 9.5% from last January. In number of sales, we have 2,100 with 2,061 pending, which is an increase of 5.5% from last January. The average days on market were 89 days, which is an increase from 4.5%, and 370,000 for the average sales price, which is up 12.5%. For condominium sales for the entire state of Connecticut, we have over 2,600 active listings, which is down over 8%. Inventory is getting tighter. We have 532 sales with 707 pending. That's an increase of 3.5%. Right now we're sitting at 84 days on market, which is flat from last January. And there are an average sales price of 208,000. And that is a decrease of 5.6%. The highest condo sale in the state of Connecticut in the month of January 2020 was 340 Valley Road, Unit 10 in Greenwich for just over $2 million. And the highest sale for a single family was 340 Willow Street in Fairfield, Connecticut for just over $16.3 million. That's a look at the state of Connecticut. Now we're gonna go over to our three counties, which are our primary focus. Next up, New London County. Hey guys, this is Lucy and Lee and today we're going to tell you about January 2020 market stats and we're going to begin with single family homes. So for single family homes in January of 2020, we have 1,053 active listings, which represents um, about 14.4% decrease compared to January of 2019. We had 163 sales with 255 property pendings. Uh, which represents about 9.9 .9 decrease compared to January of 2019. Average days on the market was 84, which represents actually an increase of about 13.5%. And average sales price was also up 13% with $267,728. And for condos, we had 174 active listings, which is up 3.57%. We had 24 sales with 43 pending, which is a decrease of 14.29%. Average days on market was 97, which is up 44.78%. The average sales price is 192.150, which is up 21%. And the highest sale was 17 Water Street, Unit A9 in Groton for 875,000. And Lucy, what was the highest single family sale? It was on uh, 228 Joshua Town Road in line, and it sold for million dollars six hundred seventy-five thousand. And up next, we have the market stats for Middlesex County. Hey guys, I'm Chaz, and I'm Ryan, and we're here to bring you the marketing numbers for January in Middlesex County. We're going to kick it off with single-family homes. There was 792 active listings, which is down 0.63 percent. There was 123 sales with 159 pending. That's also down 2.38%. The average days on market was 90, which is flat year over year. And the average sale was $298,801, which is also down 16.14%. Now you're all probably wondering about condos, right? Well, here are the numbers for that. There are 117 active listings, which is down 20%. With that, there was 29 sales with 23 pending, which is up 45%, which means stuff is moving and it's moving quickly. You also have only 56 days on the market, which is down 43%, moving very fast. And the average sales price was $176,000, which is up, surprisingly, 20%. And I know what you're all wondering now, what is the highest sales price for condos in Middlesex County? Well, that would be 25 Sheffield Street, Unit 9 at 600 k Now, that got me wondering, Chaz, what is the highest sales point uh, for single family homes? In Great question, County? Ryan. Yeah. That sale goes to 369 River Road in Deep River, and that home sold for $1.35 million. All right, now we're going to throw over to New Haven County numbers. Hi, I'm Jocelyn. And I'm Meredith, and we'll be discussing January's 2020 market stats for New Haven County. For single family homes, there were 2,130 active listings and that resulted in a 12% uh, decrease, over 12%. Uh, there are 456 units sold with 614 pending, that's a 2% increase over last year, and 85 days on market, uh, which resulted in a 7.5% increase. 
Uh, average sale price is $262,495, which was over a 6% increase. And for condominiums, we had 655 active listings, which is down 8.9%. We had 152 sales, currently 189 pending, which is up 10.95%. Our average days on market were about 97, which is an increase of 24.36%. Our average sales price for condominiums was 165,834, and that's an increase of 7.71%. Our highest sale for condominiums in New Haven County was 15 Salt Meadow Lane, Unit 15, in Brantford at $650,000. How about for single families? For single families was in Guilford at 41 Ironwood Road, and that closed at 1.175 million. If you're curious to see how your home compares, give us a call or click the link. And join us next month on How's the Market to see how these trends continue.